Good evening. I know it's late, but I just came from Dairy Queen and I'm loaded up with ice cream and sugar and I feel like doing a live. So uh, let's let's have you pick a palette again. <laughs> as soon as this loads up, I got a new phone, so I'm, I'm not always able to find the options that I want to press and the things I want to press, but I got, well, this isn't all the shadows I have, but this is a lot of shadows that I have. Anybody on that was um, that picked a palette last week, you can still play. <laughs> uh, last <clears throat> last time I did it, I had a crazy blue one and a green one, and a, mm, I forget now. I had one normal color in all of them, the rest of them were pretty wild. Oh my gracious, there's a mosquito in here. It's too cold for mosquitoes. <gasps> oh, Betty's already playing. Four <laughs> down, four across. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, Betty, you picked, you picked an orange one. This one's actually pretty. It's called Gingerly. Okay, so it's fall, it's kind of fall related. Okay, so I'm gonna load that up. I'm gonna load it in my empty palette. Like I'm, <laughs> I use my teeth for that. Okay, so that's pick number one. Anybody else wanna have a pick? Pick new, uh, pick two numbers, four, four across, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So between four and eight, okay? Or you can do from one to eight, I guess. Anybody else want to pick a number or pick a color? Throw two numbers out. Like, it's kind of like, you could call it battleship eyeshadow. Better than the blue, yes. I did okay, though, with the blue. But I was a little, I was a little worried. <laughs> so maybe it's early, Betty. You, you, you know the game, so you picked really, really early. So how about other, some other people pick a number? Pick any number. It'll be fun. Maybe, you know, you could pick any number at all. And as you, as you pick a number, I've got three more picks. So, ooh, that's the first one. I shouldn't be let go of my stuff. I'm so afraid my things will break, but it didn't. It landed good. Oh, hi, Joyce. How are ya? I just came back from... Oh, hi, Brenda. I should pick number four. So let's go across. I'll go back. One, two, three, four. Okay. So four is this one here. That's going to be a little tricky. <laughs> just give me a sec. Let's see if I can find my bobby pin that I had. These pop out really easily. I usually use a bobby pin, but I'll use a brush maybe. Oh, I have a stick. Oh, Joyce picks five. Okay, hold on. No, nope, that stick is too wide. I've got a Q-tip. Hold on, hold on. Holy snapping! You'll take the. I'll take the batten off the Q-tip. Yeah, I had a pita buster parfait. It was delicious. I made um, chicken parmesan for supper. And that's something that I normally don't don't think I like, but actually it turned out I like it. Okay, so this one is called Relaxed. So who picked this? Brenda, you picked Relaxed. So that's a really pretty color. It's like a rose gold. Okay, and this is what I've got going on so far. So let me just go scroll up. So Brenda picked four and Joyce picked five. Let's see what five is. Keep holding them up. Ooh, okay. Number five. It's pretty. Just a sec. I'm gonna end up getting full of shadows. Oh, this one's a really nice one. It's called Unabashed. Now, did anybody pick anything else? So we need one more shade. So far, this is what it looks like. It's not too bad. Okay. Put these back. Okay, anybody want to shout out a number? It can, it can be a single number, because then I, I just go across with it, or if you give me 
two numbers I can go across and down and meet in the middle and see. So there's all kinds of colors. See? So as you pick, I load up my my palette. So there's one more to go. Okay? Anybody else want to pick some number? Then I can get crack a lacking. Anybody out there? Even if you even if somebody that's on already that's picked a number, pick another number. Then I can get then I can get going. Ronnie went to pick up on at work, so he was working a five to nine shift tonight. So I was thinking maybe I could have this on and done before they get home. Maybe not. Okay, looks like I'm gonna get oh Betty pick six. Okay, Betty. You picked, let's see what that one is. Ooh, and Brenda picked two. How about we do this? I'll see what, I'll see what five is. Let's do the math here. There's a, there's a fly in here for gracious sakes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So five and two. You know what, it pretty much, they're both, the colors that you guys picked are both browns. So it's a matte brown. I think it's called Gullible. So it's definitely a darker palette. So this one's a brown and it's called Gullible. I was right. Ooh, see what I can do. Like you never know, like when you get someone else to pick your numbers, what you're gonna end up with. <laughs> okay, so I'll put these guys away. The other night, if you guys weren't watching, Betty picked this one <laughs> and I think I had a, I had a green I don't know what the green is right now so I had green and I had blue it was pretty wild <laughs> okay so let me get rid of this and this okay so I'm gonna do a really fast quick face and I even have my oil tonight so I'm gonna remind you guys anybody who has the oil and has your uh, concealer if you've got extra wrinkles like like most of us have wrinkles around our eyes. I've been using the oil and my wrinkle, I don't know if you can see, but like it's, they call this like Botox in a bottle. And I think it, ha it must have some sort of, of a residual effect because it's just seeming to be relaxing all my, all my wrinkles. Okay, let's see if I can find, oh yeah. So I'm gonna put a little bit of primer on. Just gonna grab my Glorious Touch Primer. I had makeup on earlier this morning and I just have a little bit of mascara on, but I figured might as well do the whole face while we're here. Let me just make sure I get some on my eyes because when you put primer on, there's two things that it actually will do. It'll brighten the colors that you're applying and it'll actually keep them on longer and they won't like get all creasy and they won't get, they won't slip off your face. So I'm gonna use the stick foundation. I love it. If you like a full coverage, this is the way to go. Um, this is a is the Liquid Touch foundation. There's like 400 drops in each bottle. You just need a minimal amount. Um, it gives you more of a sheer to medium finish, but the um, the stick literally will cover everything you have everything um, and you must use a brush uh, there's all kinds of brushes that we have we've got round fluffy brushes works great they work wonderful um, for especially for the liquid touch foundation we have a liquid touch brush that is perfectly designed it's very very short soft bristles that help swirl the makeup around but when you're using the the stick foundation you need a brush called a kabuki brush if you've ever seen them they're usually like squat um, this one's been, this one's been loved on by Teddy. So this has now been retired. <laughs> so I shouldn't say her name too loud because she'll probably come over and try to lick my face. But, um, it's got, sh it's supposed to have very uniform bristles. This one's a little wonky. <laughs> but what you do is you stipple, just like you're applying paint. If you go to Crackle and Teal up in Newcastle and you're going to do some crafts, you do a lot of stippling. Okay. So I should have just done one side of my face because you can see uh, it evens up my skin tone without 
feeling like you're wearing a whole lot of makeup. It actually makes your skin feel like there's a bit of a satin finish. It doesn't feel oily, greasy, or anything. So, but it's fantastic if you want to feel like you're not wearing a whole heck of a lot of makeup, but still get really good coverage. Okay, so basically I just stipple that on. I'm using the stick foundation as opposed to the, um, the liquid touch tonight. Okay, so and just stipple, stipple, stipple. We're just painting our faces on my mat. Can you hear my dog, Max? He's rolling around on my bed, tearing up my blankets. <laughs> Crazy dog. Okay, there we go. So now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my concealer. Um, concealer is a wonderful thing. After a while, when you first start to use concealer, like, you know, when you first start wearing makeup, we think we need to conceal everything first, but you should be trying to use a foundation that covers most, does all the heavy lifting. And then if you need a little bit of brightening, you just stick a little bit of concealer where you might need it. Like I always tend to be a little bit dark, like blue veiny, you know, blue veins underneath here. Or if you want to add it like a little bit of on your cupid's bow to make your like I have a very small upper lip, so I put a little bit right there. It just makes my zhuzhs up my top lip. Um, and there's two or three different ways to apply it. Uh, now that I've got that beauty oil, the Uplift Beauty Serum, what I've been doing, because typically before I'd use my finger and I'd tap it in, or I'd dampen down my beauty bud, which I will do that now. So I just give it a good squirt. Water works great, but since I don't have any uh, a sink in my bed in my bedroom, I just use that. So. I mean, literally, you would just need that much. Like, I'm, I'm like serious. Like, that's that's pretty much all you need, and then just spread it. Um, but the beauty oil that Unique has come up with, they call it like Botox in a bottle. Uh, and what I do now is I just take a smidge and I cut the concealer down a bit, uh, just so it's it's better for if you do have lines, it's not going to sit and um, and get stuck in there. Okay. So you can use a concealer the same shade of your makeup. This one is one shade lighter. I tend to want to use the one shade a little bit, just the one shade lighter, just to add a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes. Okay, now you don't need to go up underneath your eyelashes at all. You just want to take that area that you have some darkness and if you don't have a beauty bud, don't worry about it. If you have a finger, <laughs> just use your finger. So you don't want to pull because your skin underneath your eyes is very delicate. And once it loses its elasticity, that's it, okay? So what I like to do is just like let the body heat of your finger just, just let the work do, you know, let the work, let it do the work for you, okay? That being said, I'm going to pick up a, a little bit more of that because I... I mix it up with the Beauty Uplift Serum. So every time I put my concealer on now, I'm actually giving my, the skin underneath my eyes a little treatment, which is kind of nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I'm just gonna show you where I'm gonna put that. So tonight I had Brenda help me, Joyce, and Betty. But those are the girls that helped me tonight um, I just got a message from Michelle. I'll have to message her in a bit. So I'm going to put a little bit right there and right there. You can put some right there. You can also, I'm going to do this pretty much after, but I like to cut out my eyebrows a little bit with the concealer. So we'll just leave that for now. Okay. So the next step before I put on any eyeshadow, my palette that you guys picked tonight, I was saying, Brenda, Joyce, and Betty picked these colors at random. They just, they picked out names. They picked numbers, I should say. And that's the palette they picked. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap my face. Powder is really important because you're gonna set all that makeup that you just put on so it'll prevent any creasing and it won't move around. Okay, so let's get going. There we go. I've got a fluffy brush. I'm not as scared tonight. <laughs> I'm not as scared as the other night because I didn't know how the heck I was ever going to make that look good. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Grab some toilet paper. We go to Costco and we buy boxes and boxes and boxes of Kleenex and they never seem to make their way upstairs. Hi, Amy. Okay, so I'm going to clean off this brush that I had used gray. I guess gray was the other color. I don't want to add any gray to this mix because it's a pretty warm palette. It's very, it's very fall-like. Okay, so that one's clean. Then I'm going to clean off this little fella. My cream shadow brush. It's got some schmutz on it too. This little brush cleaner is super great because it's instantly, um, you're instantly able to clean your brushes and you don't have to worry about them being wet forever. Um, the thing about when you wash your brushes, most people neglect it and then you can get blemishes. Also, if you are an avid brush cleaner and you really, really, you know, want to make them clean all the time, you're washing them and it, depending on how you're leaving them, oh, and he would put down, good for you. Oh, I'm glad he's doing good. So if you're washing your brushes and then you let leave the water go down, you're going to loosen the glue. That being said, if you wash your brushes and you leave them in a little nice little cup, you're going to as they dry, you're gonna bend the bristles and they don't, they're not forgiving because they don't come back. I learned that the hard way from painting because I did that a few times. I had purchased brushes that I liked and I ended up wrecking them. So if you can get a brush cleaner like this, it's lickety split, easy peasy. Okay, last brush I'm gonna wash is this one here. My fluffy crease brush. Oh, it's not the fluffy one. It's just the regular blending brush. I think that sugar tree from Dairy Queen is starting to wear off. <laughs> Ronnie and I, we're only going to take a quick spin to get gas. The next thing you know, we're at Dairy Queen. He ordered two cheeseburgers and I had a peanut buster parfait, which I should not have had, but I did anyway. Okay, so let's start out. I really don't have a transition color. Usually transition colors are the ones that I'll use. They're really, really pale. Or matte okay and then that I, I apply that and let the color kind of let the other colors move on so that being said I'm gonna use the this matte color here called gullible and I'm gonna go a little bit higher and I'm gonna go back and forth because I have two iridescent colors he goes in for his four must needles does he oh that's always a like a hectic day Amy needles so I'm going to use the matte color up here and just go back and forth because when you have iridescent shades after a, after a certain age, you should not have the iridescent go up here because <laughs> it just is not flattering. But it's really nice on the lid itself because it, uh, it acts like um, you can almost do like a little bit of a halo look and I think that's what I'll do with this one where it'll be a little bit dark and it'll come over here and be a little bit dark but then in the middle There'll be some colors to go together. Do too bad last one. Aw, he's he's such a pleasant little babes, eh? Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna swirl around. So just just a teeny bit of that color, and it just moves so nicely because I had put the the primer on first. Okay, now I'm gonna just tap it again. Let's take it off. I should have my fan on in here. Ooh. So pretty soon it'll be Thanksgiving and we'll get to hold uh, Percy all afternoon. So Percy's four months already. That's crazy. So the girls picked a nice palette for me tonight. That's not too bad. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Okay. Now, I think I'll go in with that pumpkin in the crease. It's like a ginger, it's called gingerly, but it's very much like a pumpkin. And I'm gonna find where my crease is. Oh, gracious. Okay, so I'm going to stay on this side of the eyelashes, okay? I'm not going to go out here, and I'm just going to walk up really carefully. See how much pigment comes off on that? It's really, really nice. And I'm going to do a little triangle. And on this 
side. Same thing. Just see where your eyelashes are. Don't go anything. Don't don't go past it. And then just go up a little bit higher than your crease would be. Make a triangle. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in. I felt like um, I knew I was coming on tonight, but I just I didn't mean to be on so late. Anyway, when I do my yeah, I should have a clip in my in my hair right now. Whew. Okay. Hi, Rita. So I had, um, hi, I um, found out in August that, that I did earn my, my incentive trip to, the, to the Bahamas that's coming up in January, but it was like not really confirmed, you know, like you just, you did, I, I didn't see, you know, anything in the back office, but then um, Natalie, our uh, upline, my black like a black status upline, which probably means nothing to you guys, but um, she posted it today with, and she tagged me in it. I was like, so it became real. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh my gosh, that really did happen. So I was so excited to see it. So on January 27th, that's the day that we sail from Miami. And we're going to go to... Nassau. Hope the place in Bahamas didn't get ruined. Um, we found out yesterday um, from Derek. He he does our um, Bahamas. I know, but I guess the place that that the boat is supposed to go to is is already back and up and running. That was um, that's something I I I thought. Oh my gosh, that's it for the cruise. But we're able to go still. Um, and they're gonna do uh, our company is based on a foundation that helps women and kids that were sexually abused. Um, in fact, this was our, why the company was made in the first place. And uh, it was around for a full year even before they decided to get into makeup. They figured, well, we'll get into makeup to help fund the, this, uh, the cause that they, and the foundation that they have. So at least twice a year, um, all the black status leaders, they get together and they call it, um, oh gosh, I had the on the tip of my tongue um something why you know, I, there's I, i'm forgetting but they gather all those people and they'll go to a place in the world that needs help and they'll build they'll do all kinds of things and uh, they'll fundraise so and then when we go on our and on incentive trips uh or even our convention that we were just at like they'll call upon us like we donate to certain charities so um, when we went to Mexico, it was um, around school time, so we donated stuff like all for the kids. Hey, Emily, uh, how are you? So like they don't, we donated stuff for like school supplies and clothes and diapers and everything for kids. Oh yeah, nothing like a warm baby for me. Oh yeah, it's like when you eat something warm though, it does make you sleepy, eh? Um, yeah, so I, I'm hopefully that it comes to me what they do. I, I was just reading about it earlier today. So as a result of what happened in the Bahamas, there's going to be something like that again. So we'll be able to actually help through donations for the people in the, in the Bahamas. So I'm pretty proud of the company that, that I'm with. Because when I, I'll say hashtag not all, not all about makeup, it really just, it's not all about makeup. So it's pretty special. So this next little color, let's get back to the colors here. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of it. <laughs> already but I'm just going to plop it in amongst that gingerly color just going to enhance it okay oh I remember what it's called now strength of Y so that just means the strength of you of unique I guess so it is going to be pretty special and as we and once we get there we'll see what's going on and I'm sure there's a lot of places that that are going to need help for years to come in the Bahamas Okay, so I just did that. I added a little bit of this color. Now the rose gold, I think I'll go in the, in like this part here. I'm gonna use a cream shadow brush. I think I might wet it. They say when you wet the your uh, your brush and then you put it in a little bit of iridescent, the color gets a little bit more vibrant. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip it in here. Thanks for the hearts. So. Here we go, let's see if it works. I'm gonna tap it right there. 
It makes it it makes it much more bright and um almost wet. It's real I like it. Aw, uh, thanks Amy. Okay. So I'm just gonna push the color onto the onto the brush itself and just give it a little tap. So just by accident tonight, girls, you guys made a really pretty fall palette. <laughs> So now I'm going to take a little bit of that gullible again and I'm going to go around just to darken <laughs> thanks uh, just to darken up in the crease a little bit. At first I thought I was going to do a halo eye which just means you have a little bit like it, you actually will color in both sides but I think I won't go that far. Oh thank you Joyce you had you had a hand in it tonight. Isn't it fun if you get a chance to pick colors? I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, maybe another night I'll do a halo night. And like I said, a halo is very... Oh, thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Uh, we, we knew what we were doing. You did. <laughs> another first is out. I will be too. You keep looking fabulous. Ah, oh, okay. See you later, Amy. Love ya. So if I was going to do a real halo eye, I would be like dark. And it'd be like all the way over here and dark. And then in here would be the pop of color. But I think just for tonight, we'll just leave it like that. I'm not going to go too wild. So if you're wondering sometimes how you can make your la or your looks look a little bit more polished, it's all about the blending. Uh, that being said, priming, that's, that's key too. Because then once you prime, it stays in place. But blending is like really important. So when I want to blend, I hold it way out here right when I really want to deposit it's like when you're really writing a story you get up close and personal with your pencil but when you want to blend you just go back and forth way way back and forth nice and light easy motions just easy peasy there we go now it's time to do my eyebrows uh, I'm gonna use Will I use this one or will I not? I've got a couple of brushes that I like to use. Mm. Yeah, I'll just use this one. This one's like an eye brow, uh, eyeliner brush, but it's definitely doable for right in here. So you can see I have all kinds of eyebrows, but they get sparse after a while and they just need a little direction. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of wax and then just the, the shade that's number one. This is the medium shade palette, so it's really good for like a dark blonde, redhead like myself, or even if you have quite a lot darker shades than myself, if your hair is darker, is what I'm trying to say, you can get away with palette number two. Because um, there are two options for shades. And depending on what I'm doing, like sometimes if I really want to go with them, like a lighter base face uh, and a bright red lip or something, I usually will go a lot darker with my eyebrows just to make it a little bit more dramatic. You know, because sometimes you just need a little drama, <laughs> even if it's your eyebrows. Let, let's let just have makeup be the drama in our life. How about that? Wouldn't that be great? So easy peasy to do. If you have a hard time with your eyebrows and you don't know your shape or how to make it, or if you've, you know, overwaxed or thyroid issues, you, you sometimes can be missing that tail. So, and sometimes you're missing the first two or three millimeters of your hair as well. So you just kind of go right through that tear duct. And because I'm using this, this product here, I can hit it with a bit of the wax, which just helps keep it, um, like waterproof so you, you can get rained on it doesn't matter you don't have to worry about your um, your eyebrows melting off so I'm just gonna comb come up through meet that little dot and remember it's supposed to go up a little bit your eyebrows are not supposed to go this way okay so you want to slant up and I find that middle arch through my pupil and, and this is the line I'm using. And then if I want to find that tail, I go through right there. So try to make it all, sorry, make it all work. And typically your tail should be a little bit darker. So it's it's nice to have a couple of shades to, to kind of play around with. 
Now, if you have a brush that has a spoolie on the end, that's really good because um, I'm being really light right now with my application, but sometimes the, the odd time I will be too heavy handed. So I'll just take my spoolie and I just run it through and it takes care of, of the areas that I might've like filled in too, too heavily. Okay. So I just want to show you, if you guys are just popping on, I had the girls in the beginning was, they picked the colors. I have, gosh, I might have 30 shades of, of, of colors and they just picked the shades and I gave me a number and then I found them. So that is what they picked tonight. So they did pretty good, you know, for a fall look since it is fall. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is a little bit, you can use your hour, <laughs> behold, powder. This is the, the uh, translucent powder. Um, if you have issues with being warm, like I get a little bit hot sometimes, um, I will set my makeup as I do it and it will not move. In fact, I've even, I've even showed the girls sometimes the, um, the lipstick trick. I won't do it tonight. It's too late. Um, but you can, you can, uh, I put lipstick on my face, like bright lipstick and dab the powder over it and you could you could rub it all day and it wasn't going to go anywhere so it's pretty nice okay so i think what i'm going to do next is do a little bit of contouring and i'm going to do a little bit of our lip crush lip powders these are so nice it's literally a powder okay goes on oh thank oh i'm glad you did charlene i love giving stuff Okay, so look, this is a powder. I'm gonna just dab a little bit. Can you see? Now when it hits your skin, it melts. And it is so fun to, to apply. It's um, kind of feels hot when you first apply it, to be honest. Okay. It just, like there's water, water molecules like full of, my, of a lipstick that burst as soon as they hit your lips. Oh my gosh, I love it too. And you know what it tastes like? It tastes like candy. <laughs> it tastes so good. I've actually seen myself lick it off and while I'm doing a live because I just can't. <laughs> it's called complicated. So it's really pretty. Uh, they last quite a while throughout the day as well. Um, but I like to, um, to like blot it a little bit with my with with yeah, I was gonna say a towel <laughs> with a, with a Kleenex or some toilet paper whatever you got okay so let's do a little contour and a little blush I was gonna use my purple blush tonight but I don't think so I brought it out but I didn't want to blush until you guys had picked the palette because if I had put purple on then I would would have been really in trouble <laughs> okay so because I used the foundation, the stick foundation, it really, you know, matted out my face. Uh, it evened out the skin tone and everything. So what you do, love you to have, oh, I would love, listen, Kathy, I do people's makeup all the time. If you're close, it's fun. And I love to do makeup for like, you know, real people. We're all real people. Um, and especially if you're not used to wearing makeup, I find that the most fun because I, I want to make you feel like you're you still, not not um, a stranger in the mirror. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of different ways to apply bronzer. Of course, this is a wonderful place to put it because you're gonna make yourself some shadows where you wanna have shadows. Um, you can do the three and E, so you can just go right around, okay, around your forehead. And underneath your jawline. And in the summertime, what I did a lot was like this. I love that. Uh, but it's not summer anymore. Um, so you can actually use another little brush if you want to narrow. If you find that you need, I know. <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> um, uh, you can actually narrow the width of your nose if you want to. Okay. Look at, can you see the difference? Adding a little bit of shadow right there. Whose nostril's smaller on the other side? I 
mean? <laughs> okay, so then you just do on the side. Okay, and if you want to make your bottom lip look a little bit poutier, poutier, you can just put a little bit right there. Um, like I said, it's pretty simple. And if you want to shorten your nose, you can just put a little bit right there. I showed you this earlier, so I'm going to show you another little trick. I'm going to use um, a little bit more of that oil, just like a smidge. Like this, this bottle of oil is going to last me forever. <laughs> so I'm going to use a teeny bit of the concealer, like a dot. One of my girls bought one today, and I said, you're going to have it for a long time. It's no joke. Okay, I'm going to clean off this little brush because I like to use something quite fine. Okay, there. So I'm going to dip it in, just give it a little swirl. It's very, very thick and opaque uh, concealer, so very, very, you just need very, very little. This stuff can cover tattoos covers everything like if you wanted your tattoo covered I should say I'm not saying cover them but if you had an issue and you had to cover something up that being said so does this stick this covers tattoos that's how full coverage it is okay so the reason why I do that is it lifts like I didn't even put mascara on yet you can already see this eye looks happier it looks more awake so just by doing the teeniest little extras, we don't always have time to do the extras, but it's kind of nice to have the option, you know, if you wanted to zhuzh up a little bit more. Well, I can hear Owen is home. Can you see, look at my nails I got done today. Aren't they cute? I was so excited. I, I've been wanting to get into my to Jennifer Levine for years. And a couple of, uh, about three months ago, I decided to just, you know how you throw the spaghetti at the wall and it's gonna stick? <laughs> I said, I'll call, I'll make an appointment, and then I'll get in, right? So that's what I did. And um, so this is the second time, the second time I go, I, I'm gonna go every four weeks. That's a real big treat for me to get my nails done. So I'm pretty excited. Would that help? This is perfect, um, perfect for covering under eye circles. Um, it's amazing. Like there's, ta there's, I've got friends that use it. Um, they've got super, super dark. You just need to be color matched. And um, the stuff goes, this, this stuff applies really, really well. And like I said, a little is all you need. Because if you put too much on, you know, you don't want to get, you know, get it all up in there. Okay, so now I'm going to do, maybe, shall I put a little bit of blush on? Let's see what I got. I have a little bit of my old sweet that I have. It's kind of crushed up, so I have to be really careful. So every time I open it up, I lose a little bit more. Boop. Okay, so just a little, like, you want to just put a little bit of blush on. The blushes that we have are very nice. They're very sheer, and um, they range from, um, it's called, like, peachy tones to uh, mauves. Um, that really pretty one that I was going to show you earlier, that I showed you earlier, the purple one, is really pretty. do something else that's fun I had this brush now for about six months and honest to gosh when I got it I felt like I had a magic wand <laughs> it's the little it's the little um, fan brush uh, we also sell it we also sell like a stick illuminizer which I love right to death but those nights you want to feel fancy you can just use one of these I've had this stick the same color um, It'll be two years in October. So, I mean, this really la lasts a really long time. It's the same color, and it's just maybe just a little bit easier to apply. But a girl had to try the fan brush, you know. Had to do it. 
Okay, so the only thing I'm missing now is my 4D mascara. So those of you girls who would love to try it, I'm telling you it's as good as I've been preaching about and talking about over and over and over again. So I dropped off a few today to some friends and I was saying when you first pull it out, it's quite juicy. You see how much that's on there? So don't uh, go back in and pump it or anything. Just, just kind of wipe off the edges, scrape it off. I'm hoping that I reminded those girls about that. But, and let's just say the slower you haul it out of its home, the less product you're gonna have on, on your wand. So that's the best thing. Um, now you're gonna see this side looks a little bit squattier. This side looks a little bit more, it's loaded with product, but you want, I always like to start off with the shorter bristles and it's not hard to apply, honestly. You just hang out there for a little bit and you do a little twirl. It's one step, it's, uh, it's lovely, it stays all day. It's not hard on the eyes. As I find um, my uh, eyes are really sensitive, so if this was bad, or I should say, if it wasn't as good as I said it was, that I couldn't wear it, so. Instantly get thickness and length, like bam. <laughs> That's so fast, very, very fast. So I don't like to, just push it back in. Um, I like to take everything off the wand. So, um, the beginning of every month we have a bundle. And because I live in Miramichi, New Brunswick, and the stuff comes from, uh, originally from Utah, but we do have a, a warehouse, I guess, in New Jersey. And because the long weekend, I don't know, it's I still don't have my, my bundle. So with the bundle for this month, there's the lash um, primer. So I guess this makes your lashes even longer and it separates them and then you, need, you even need less of the 4D. So um, I've seen everybody's results and it's pretty amazing. So hopefully for gracious sakes tomorrow, I'll get my hands on it because I'm chomping at the bit. Um, and also the launch of some pretty amazing liquid shadows. Um, I had a chance to try them when I was in Orlando and uh, they spread easily so they're not they're not hard to use. Okay so I just do I didn't I didn't dip the wand yet again. Like I said I like to really take everything off. This is called 4D. Um, we have regular mascara black 4D, sorry, black Epic, and we have brown Epic, and we have waterproof Epic. But the 4D um, Epic mascara is actually very water resistant, so if you had to get wet, or if you were walking downtown, um, your makeup's not gonna fall off. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish the inside of this corner here. I received two packages today and I even took a, a picture of them and I was all excited to open them but when I opened them they were just um what were they oh they were setting powders I was so upset I thought for sure it was going to be it was going to be my um lash stuff okay there Definitely not gonna be able to go to bed now for a few hours. <laughs> Let's just see. So there's two different ways to set this. I think I'm gonna set with, I set with powder all the time. Okay, this is another way to set. It's the setting powder, it's a setting spray. The first spray I tend to never spray in the right spot. <laughs> You can do right across your face. You can do X's, you can do T's, whatever you want. I find it smells so nice that I usually go a couple extra squirts, even though I didn't have to. So there, this is my look for tonight. Thank you, Betty, Joyce, Brenda, and, and I think Betty, I think Betty picked two and Brenda picked two colors. So that's what they picked tonight. That is what it looks like. So these are all available. If you would like to try something, let me know. Um, I can literally ship anywhere. 
easy peasy um, lemon squeezy <laughs> and uh, I go on every day if this is your first time watching I'm so glad you tuned in um, you can do hashtag um, replay if you watch this on the replay you won't see that little live button up there uh, and if you do like anything that you do like that you do see you can tap my nose and hit follow and you'll get a notification every time I go live okay and I'm gonna be doing draws at the end of the month I usually do draws on Fridays but it's been getting a little bit hectic so we'll see and I usually draw for something fun okay I might slap on a little bit more lipstick you know hey thanks Betty thanks Joyce okay I'm gonna go give Ronnie a kiss on the, on the cheek now <laughs> talk to you later love ya see you later